Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty guys, so today is a cash stuffing day. We're cash stuffing for week three of May. And I just quickly want to say welcome, welcome to all the new subscribers. I feel like I've just had a little bit of a boom um, in subscribers. So just know I'm really glad you guys are here and hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. And let's jump right into this envelope and see how much we're stuffing today. Alrighty, so we have 1, 2, 50, 3, 50, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 7, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So 790, let me just set this up really quick. Alrighty, so that is all set up and I like to start with these little mini cash envelopes that go inside of my wallet. Um, that is always the easiest for me. So I'm going to start with groceries and this week we are going to be doing a hundred for groceries and groceries. I think I want to do that in twenties. You know what? I'll do it in fifties. I think that'll be fine. Um, so we'll go, oh, sorry, that was really fast. 51, $100 going in groceries. <laughs> all right. So that one is all set. The next envelope is gas. And this is actually the envelope that I stuff my wife's spending in. Um, it just happens to say gas. You guys can watch some older videos if you're curious about that because I have rambled on about it enough. <laughs> but anyways, gas this week. Oh, I'm sorry, not gas. My wife this week is going to be getting $30. Um, so I'm doing a little bit extra for her this week. She has a full day um, at the end of the week where she's going to be doing like an, a whole eight hour work day, um, which is a little bit uncommon for her. And so she'll definitely need a full lunch and not just snacks. So that is what we're doing there. My envelope, I'm going to do 10, um, except I've decided not to stuff my spending envelope into the piggy bank this week. I have budgeted out exactly what I need to finish up my um, piggy bank challenge, my save 230 days, which I've been doing every single day. So I have that money budgeted and set aside. So there's my 10 and hopefully I really spend it. Um, and then for fun dining slash fun slash takeout slash if we want to go for a drive and we end up putting gas in the car, that's what this envelope is for. So I'm going to do 20 in here. That should be good for us. Um, we don't do too much and we don't go very far unless we're traveling and then we go to Canada and that comes out of travel. We don't have anything planned, um, for the end of the month. Well, we don't have anything planned until next month, potentially. Miscellaneous, I'm just going to do $5, and that should cover um, any overspending on groceries or anything like that. I just, I usually take a calculator in when I do my grocery shopping. I'm like the weird person who like actually has a calculator and like adds everything up. Um, but just knowing that I have a $5 just in case it goes over a few dollars or cents, I always like that peace of mind. Um, beauty is not getting stuffed again. And I just don't want to pull this envelope out because it's just so pretty. Okay. So even though it doesn't get stuffed anymore, I'm keeping it in there. Boom. All right. So that is it. That is the wallet all done. Oh, look at that. They went right down. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside and then we'll get into stuffing the bills. All righty, righty. So let's do the bills. Yeah. So this is the bills binder. And rent always gets 113. So we'll do 1, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 1, 10, 11, 12, 13. Going to rent. And then we have to mix it in with all of this. 
50 there, 50 there, 10s go there, a couple of fives there. All right, we're making it happen. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 53, 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So 339 in rent so far. Put that back down in. Cute. All right, Kia is going to get 175 and it's going to get this really old looking 100. It's kind of cool though. So used to seeing them in blue. All right, so 150, 75 for Kia. 150, 75. And Kia now has, let's see. If I put it down, it's easier. I don't know. Just kind of do it like that. <laughs> I always struggle with that part. All right, so Kia now has 1, 2, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 525, which is right on. And put that down in. Perfect. So then AT&T, we are sticking with the 50 for now. I was thinking about actually pulling um, the extra money that I've paid down on this that is now like, there's like $50 extra a month that really is just a snowball that's going towards debt. I think maybe next month I'm gonna pull that out and really like stuff it in the debt envelope um, for like a true snowball. But for now, I've just been keeping it at the 50. So we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 50. So 150 in AT&T. So like pretty much that's enough to pay the bill right now. And then next week when I put another 50 in, that's just going to go extra on to um, credit cards. But I'm fine with that. It works for me. I know it in my head and it just works. <laughs> All right. So progressive this week, we really are just doing the $20. I'm just going to scooch this up a little bit. Um, so 20 for progressive. And let's see here. Oh, maybe I can condense some of this because I feel like. Um, I don't need all these 20s to sit in here. This I stuff every week, but the money will stay in this envelope for six months until since I pay the bill every six months. So I'm going to count this and then I might condense it. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 240, let's go back to like the front to rent. I don't think it really matters if rent has um 20s in it so let's go 20 40 60 81 put that 100 down there because that's going to go in this is going to go to progressive then i've got a 20 so then i'm gonna take a 20 back and go 5 10 15 20 now that's my money for progressive that's my money for rent so Let's see if I did that right. Pretty sure I did, but you never know with me. All right, so rent has 120, 40, 60, 80. Did I do that right? I don't know. 120, 40, 60, 85, 95. I I don't know. I couldn't tell you. 240. Yeah, progressive has 240. 1, 2, 20, 40. Okay, so that's right. We just counted progressive, right? It's so hard when. <laughs> All right, one more time for rent. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. That's so weird, though. Oh, of course, because there's more money in the envelope. Doi. Wow. Aren't you guys glad that you just got to see my first bill condensing like firsthand the actual fail <laughs> that that was? All right. All right. All right. This is making more sense now. My goodness. Could not figure that out. Okay. Rent altogether has 152, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Yes, that is correct. All right, so rent didn't change. I just swapped out some money. And then if we go back to progressive. Oh, where am I? How, where am I? Okay, progressive, sorry. Progressive still has the 
40, which is what it was when I first counted it. So now that is correct and it doesn't have as many 20s and it's nice and slim. All right, perfect. Moving on to storage. And storage always gets 32. So we'll go 20, 30, and these last one, two. 20, 32. And storage now has 20s, 10s, and 1s. Perfect. All right, so all together, storage has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 96. And I never like condense these throughout the month because at the end of the month, I just pull it all and it just goes back and I pay, I pay the bills. So like, I don't condense these, but I just wanted to try condensing this one since I knew that it would stay in there for six months. So I mean, I did okay. Like, let's be honest. It could have been worse. <laughs> all right. Storage is good. Subscriptions is going to get 45. So we'll go 20, 40, five. Ooh, money's going fast. It always does. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see. 20. Oh yeah. Okay. We're in subscriptions. Subscriptions now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 25, 30, 35, 135. And that is auto withdrawals and auto pays as well. So that is all set. And credit cards now is getting 70. Again, most of that is snowball at this point, but I just, I'm such a creature of habit that I just haven't changed it at all. So 70 to credit cards and 20, 40, 60, 70. Let's see what we have in here. Perfect. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10 in credit cards, which is perfect. Alrighty, so let's close this up. Bill's binder is done. Let's grab the sinking funds. And this, I call it sinking funds, but honestly, I think I'm gonna change this binder. I got a little like A7, um, and I'm going to put um because i spend out of these so it's not a true sinking fund um it's it's more like it should be my wallet and it should be where i spend the money because i like to spend everything in cash um so i need to stop calling it that and i need to switch this around but for now i'm sticking with it this is just how it's going um this is just what i'm doing for now but yeah, hopefully next week I'll have that little A7 up and running so that these categories are no longer in this sinking funds binder. Okay, so coffee, I'm gonna do 20. Just had to make sure I have my little cheat sheet. And we spent all our coffee money for the month so far. So another 20 should get us by. Household, I did 60 last week and that seemed fine. So I'm going to do 60 again this week. And I think that should get us stocked up for the rest of the month. 20, 40, 60. And I do need to get some new diapers. I got, um, we really like the Pampers Swaddlers, but I've been trying to start potty training kind of. So I got the Pampers 360s, which is more like a pull-up style, and I absolutely hate it. Um, potty training did not go good. My son's not even two yet, so I like totally was trying to jump the gun, I think. Um, anyways, I'm going to go back to the Swaddlers, um, so I definitely want to grab some more of those because they're just my favorite. I can't, um, yeah, I've tried so many different brands, like off brands, no name brands, all the brands, and I'm just a Pampers girl. So um, these envelopes I'm not stuffing, and these um, envelopes, the ones that say our names, I am gonna keep in this binder, and I'm gonna use these as like a true sinking fund, as opposed to like just putting money in and spending it out. Um, but I'm gonna probably end up stuffing these with like completed savings challenges so that it's like more like a long-term savings kind of sinking fund. Um, 
or a short-term savings. I don't really know. But either way, it'll be more like a saving for something bigger that we want rather than just putting money in and spending it because our names are on it and we think we can. Anyways, um, that's probably enough rambling. <laughs> All right, so point of that being I'm skipping those. Um, travel, I'm going to just stuff 20 today. And like I said, we don't have anything planned um, for the rest of the month and potentially something in June, but um, I'll end up bulking that up next month if we go. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to stuff is pets. Yes, is pets. So I'm going to put 20 in pets and... Um, I've just been, honestly, I, I've separated out household and pets. And again, I, I did spend from this folder because you can see, because there's like ones and stuff now. But for the most part, when we go, I just pull it from household. So I might think about combining the household back with the pets again. And then this really being like, again, a true sinking fund and not like a spending envelope. But for now, I've been spending out of it for the cat food, the dog food, the cat litter, etc. So in pets, we have 20, 30. Oh, wow. These are crispy. Really crispy. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Maybe I should separate them. Boy, am I fun to watch or what? I like don't even finish what I'm doing and I just start talking. Okay, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 53. Yes, so um, those are crispy and it worked out a lot better when I did separate them. So I'm going to leave them like that. Maybe I should spend those crispy fives because uh, they trip me up. All right, so that is it. All the money is gone. Boom. Medical's not getting anything. Debt is going to get something, but I don't know if I want this envelope here. I kind of want it where in the bills envelope because if it was at the end of the bills em envelope if it was at the end of the bills binder instead of putting the snowballs in the categories i could just stick the extra snowball money in here so i might do that but i'm gonna leave it for now and get those things moved around and sorted for next week potentially but yeah that is it all the money's gone the binders have been stuffed ready for another week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do so. I've got some fun videos coming up, including some savings challenges. Um, and other than that, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.